morning. So yesterday we were looking at simplifying um, algebraic expressions. So we were adding and we were subtracting uh, 5x say plus 3x gave us 8x if we added them together. Um, and then we were making long expressions simplified so we were making them shorter. The homework that you had to do uh, I have left an attachment to the email and an attachment in the Google Classroom that has the answers and you can check your answers. If there's anything that you got wrong that you don't know why you got it wrong, will you please let me know, send me a private message on Google Classroom and I can do a video where I look at some of the trickier sums. Uh, so we've done addition and subtraction of um, different constants and variables uh, and the coefficients beside the variables. Now we have to look at uh, if we have an expression that has brackets like this one here um, or we have ones like this one here. Uh, we want to simplify this. So we're going to have to multiply it out and then if there's any adding or subtracting to be done we can do it then. Okay, so let's write out the first sum first. Uh, all right, so we have 2x minus 3, bracket, 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 x plus 5. Now, when you are multiplying um, with brackets like this, if you don't remember, you have to multiply the 2x by this x and then you also have to multiply the 2x by this 5 but and you also have to multiply this minus 3 by this x and you have to multiply this minus 3 by this 5 so there's four different pieces of multiplication we have to do in this sum uh, let me just go back to black so the first one we'll do, 2x multiplied by x. 2x multiplied by x is 2x squared because the, there is no number in front of the x. Well, there's no number, but that's the same as saying 1. So 2 multiplied by 1 is 2. But when you have x multiplied by x, you get x squared. So 2x multiplied by x is 2x squared. And then 2x multiplied by plus 5. The 5 will affect the 2. So 2 multiplied by 5 is 10, and then we have the x there as well, so it's 10x. So 2x multiplied by 5 is 10x. Now we have minus 3. Now be careful with that minus. Minus 3 multiplied by x is minus 3x, and minus 3 multiplied by plus 5. 3 by 5 is 15. Now it's a minus by a plus, so it's a minus, so that's minus 15. Minus 3 multiplied by plus 5, minus 15. Now, can we simplify this? Yes, we can. The 2x, two, uh, 2x squared, there's no other x squared, so we leave it as it is. 2x squared, and then we have plus 10x minus 3x. Well, the variable is the same, so we subtract the two uh, coefficients. So 10 minus 3 is 7, so plus 7 x and then minus 15. There's no other constants so it stays minus 15. Uh, now let's have a look at part two. Hence simplify and the following sum. Now hence means that the first question is linked to the second question. So hence simplify. Let's write down the sum first. Two. Now let's write it out. Two multiplied by three x squared minus 2x plus 4 brackets 1 minus 2x minus 3 and x plus 5. Okay, so if we look at this bit here, see this bit? That is exactly the same as this bit here. So that means we can use this and we don't have to do all of this all over again. But we do need to be careful of this minus, and I'll explain that now in a moment. First of all, let's do this sum here. So when you're multiplying a number like this, 
uh, and then there's an equation inside of a bracket. You have to multiply each term. So you multiply two by this, two by this, and you also multiply two by that. So we need to do three sums here. So two, two multiplied by three x is six x squared, because two by three is six, and the x squared stays the same. And then two multiplied by minus two x, two by two is four, and remember the minus stays the same. Four, and then the x, nothing affected the x, so it's two by minus two x gives us minus four x, and then two by four, and that's just two by four is eight. Now minus, now here we have what we can use from the first sum, minus 2x squared plus 7x minus 15. Now this minus, there's no number beside it, but there may not be a number here, but we can almost, we can assume because there's no number there is a 1. So this minus has to be multiplied by everything inside of here, this minus one. Uh, there's no one, but a, this, there is essentially. So this minus has to be multiplied by each of these terms. So I'll just draw a little line. The minus has to be multiplied by that, by that, and by that. So we've already figured this bit out, so we can be 6x squared minus 4 x plus 8. Now minus multiplied by 2x squared would just give us minus 2x squared. Minus multiplied by plus 7x would give us minus 7x. And then minus multiplied by minus 15, well a minus by a minus is a plus. So that would be minus multiplied by minus, so it's plus 15. So the number stayed the same but the sign in front of them changed. This was positive, now it's negative. This was positive, now it's negative. This was negative, now it's positive. Okay, now we can do the final bit uh, and we can add and subtract what we need to, just like the sums we were doing yesterday. So the 6x squared and the minus 2x, that would be 4x squared. The uh, variables are the same, x squared and x squared. You are just subtracting the two coefficients, the numbers in front. So we've done that. Minus 4x minus 7x. Remember your integers. Remember the number line. Minus 4 minus 7 is minus 11. Minus 11x. Because if we have a number line and we have 11 here and we have 0 here and we have minus 4 and this is also minus 11 and we minus seven, we're taking away seven, so we're going seven places down to minus 11. So that's minus 11x, and that is dealt with. And then we have plus eight and plus 15. Eight plus 15 is 23. And that is our final answer. So we need to be careful of this minus. Um, and how it affected the other signs inside of the brackets. Okay, so try and do the homework now. And in case you're not already doing this, uh, I highly recommend watching this at a faster speed. You can get through the video a lot quicker. Uh, so maybe uh, change the playback speed to 1.7 or 1.5. And if you already know how to do this, well, you can skip this and have a go and then refer back to it if you get stuck. So do the questions that I have sent to you as an attachment.